And tonight we're going to meet the candidates looking to represent South Sacramento and Elk Grove in the state assembly. Yeah, both of these candidates are Democratic City Council members, Sacramento City Council member Eric Guerra and Elk Grove City Council member Stephanie Wynn. Casey Area 3's Lizzie Mitri sat down with both the candidates and shares their message for the region. Here in the Sacramento region. In separate interviews, the Democratic candidates for state assembly in District 10 each shared similar sentiments when reflecting on how they got to where they are now. I never thought I, you know, uh, would ever be an elected official, based, uh, you know, coming from uh, picking, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, up and down the Sacramento region to representing, you know, one of the largest cities in. Um, in California. Never in my wildest dream did I ever think I would be an elected official. You're looking at somebody who grew up really poor on public assistance, English as a second language, struggled through school, um, and still became an elected official, right? It's unheard of. Young Dems last night. Yep. Stephanie Wynn says she's the daughter of Vietnamese refugees. Wynn has been an Elk Grove City Council member since 2017. Eric Guerra says he grew up as a migrant farm worker. He's now Sacramento's mayor pro tem on city council since 2015. Both candidates say addressing the homeless crisis is one of their top priorities. Specifically mentioning the Care Court bill, Congratulations, everybody. which the governor signed into law in September. It sets up new judicial branches in each county to provide court ordered care to those who are unhoused and severely mentally ill. I think that's the a direction in which we should have been going a while ago, not now. You know, it's it's a good start and it's better now than never. Um, that's that's exactly things that I want to do, that I want to look into. Guerra says he wants to make sure the state is funding the mental health and substance abuse treatment that will be necessary for Care Corps. Counties and cities are facing a tremendous challenge that frankly has been a product of the state over many governors uh, pushing more and more of the responsibility to the localities. When it comes to the votes, it was tight between the two candidates in the June primary. With three others in the race, Wynn barely led with 29.9% of the vote, and Guerra followed closely behind with 29.4%. Now they're each hoping they've convinced voters who should come out ahead this time to be District 10's next assembly member. Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And the candidates are running to replace outgoing Democratic Assembly member Jim Cooper. Cooper will be taking office as Sacramento County's next sheriff, and that happens in January.